So now we are going on with some interviews and I would like to invite Ramon Bernardo Gavito. Hi, Ramon. Uh, so he is an assistant research professor at IMDEA Nanociencia. Um, can you tell us something else about your research? Hi, Christina. Uh, thank you for having us. Yes, well, I'm a, I'm a physicist here at IMDEA Nanociencia. I study mostly uh, two-dimensional materials and different uh, ways they, they interact with uh, light and electrochemical fields to make uh, uh, mechanical oscillations. Um, so would you say that your work is mostly basic science or it's more applied science? Well, I would say somewhere in, in between. Uh, the, the phenomena we study are, are, are really interesting in terms of uh, of basic science, we study nonlinear uh, oscillations in these kind of materials, and uh, uh, which are uh, uh, very thin, and uh, and uh, they can lead to chaos and lots of different uh, uh, interesting phenomena. But they also can be used as uh, mass or gas sensors or as actuators. So they they do have an application there at the end. So I think it's it's very clear for everyone why applied science is necessary. But what do you think about basic science? So why do we all need that uh, research uh, keeps on basic science? Well, basic science is, is the foundation of, uh, of all the applied sciences and then of, of technology, of course. So if you think of the most high technologies uh, at the moment, like quantum computing or artificial intelligence, they both depend ultimately on basic sciences, right? Uh, quantum uh, computing depends on the study of, of quantum physics. At the end, the hydrogen atom is back there. And artificial intelligence uh, rests on the most basic of science, which is mathematics. And then if you listen to the previous speakers, and uh, no matter if you look at big celestial objects or or the very small subatomic particles, you are having an impact in society, in culture, and and then of course technology. Yeah. And um, so you saw we were already asking uh, about the breakthrough. So try to be a little bit imaginative. What do you think you would like to see coming in the next years as the most important scientific breakthrough? Well, that's difficult to say because there are lots of fields, but I think mo most of us will always think on on the energy and the, and the availability of resources. So we'll know uh, we keep growing and growing as a society exponentially, just, just in the numbers. And uh, each individual uh, keeps consuming more and more energy and more materials. So we need to find a way uh, to, to keep this, uh, this world going. So we need to be able to produce energy from renewable sources to, and uh, most importantly, to reduce the energy and material consumption. So we have to look at a way and that goes through basic science and both through behavior as a, as a society to, to reduce the, our impact in the, in the environment. Yeah.